Did you really think I was going to make a video on just pulling how to pull the dipstick out and see if it's between the two lines? Really? No. This is a lot more than that. If that's what you thought this video was about, you need to watch the whole thing. There's a lot of really important information in here. And it's VW is not about just pulling the dipstick out and making sure it's full. And making sure, of course, we know that the oil should be between those two lines. Um, it Sometimes it can be just barely over the top line, but not really. Um, if you go too far, if it's full, too full, your oil will foam up and it will cause... Uh, what happens is the crankshaft will hit it or the cam will hit it and it'll foam the oil up and it'll start to really fill up and it'll start to leak everywhere. So it's really important that you don't overfill your Volkswagen with oil. Um, but that's not, again, what this video is about. Of course, you guys all know, when you check the oil between the two marks. We all know that, I think. But I'm, I had to put that in just for some people. But really, when you check the oil on your Volkswagen, there's some very important things. Yeah, this, this is an all stock, original 36 horsepower engine. And uh, on this one, I know all I need to do is pull the dipstick out. One thing, check the oil level. You should always know where your oil level is. So let's say for instance, you pull your dipstick out and you should know like right now mine's on a little bit of a hill but i know it's right at the very top line okay uh, uh right now and so next next time i go to pull it out if i see it's this full if it's above the top line like that i need to kind of take put the pause button for a minute okay if you start to see your oil level go up so you should know how much oil is in your car all the time if your oil level starts to go up Guess what happens on a Volkswagen sometimes? The fuel pump will actually leak fuel into the oil. So that's why you need to check your oil often on the car. Even if you don't even see any leaks on the ground, you need to pull that dipstick out, check the oil, make sure the diaphragm hasn't started leaking gas into the oil. You guys don't know how many engines that I've actually replaced because one of these fuel pumps has leaked gas into the oil and wiped out the bearings so pull it out smell it make sure it does not smell like fuel and watch it for for the oil level going up so what it'll do is it'll go up for a little while and then all of a sudden it'll start to go down really quickly because it'll wash through the rings now you could get a little oil gas in your oil from just having a car that doesn't have the thermostats and if you're starting up when it's cold a lot and you're not letting it warm up properly, um, a lot of times you'll have a oil in your a gas in your oil from that. So you got to kind of be aware of where it's coming from. Um, it's like I said, it's not just pull the dipstick out and check it. Now on an engine like this, okay, I have a doghouse fan shroud. It has uh, oil cooler lines that go all the way over, um, and it holds several quarts of quarts of oil. So. On a regular VW engine, uh, in, in, like that one we just looked at, they only hold two and a half quarts of oil. So when it's two and a half, when it's a half a quart low or a quart, when it's below that low line, you need to make sure you fill it up. That is so important. I always keep it towards the top end of the top end of the mark, just because uh, it they don't have very much oil in them, and the oil is part of the cooling of the engine. So. Having it full of oil is really, really, really important, but overfilling it is no good either. So let's take a look here on these engines, what you need to do. So let's say you have a performance engine, you have a, a, a doghouse cooler, and you also have the cooler lines that run up for the, uh, uh, the full flow system. So this one has two hoses that come out of the bottom underneath, and they go up to an oil cooler way up in the front of the car, and it holds a lot more than, uh, and it has a double sump oil, oil, oil thing. Let's take a look. See, I've got the second sump down there. And then those oil lines, you can see there, they go up to the front. And uh, there's an oil cooler up there and an oil filter. So to check the oil on this one, I want to start it up. I want to run it for a minute or two. Make sure, of course, you know, it has its it has a minimal amount in it. 
let it run for a minute or two, and then pull my dipstick out and make sure it's between the lines. After it's not while it's running, pull it off, run it for a minute, and then let it shut it off and then come out right away and check the oil and make sure it's between the lines. Because it may have some of the oil that was up in the cooler or something may have flown back into the uh, the sump. So, uh, you know, when you have that type of situation, you, know, you definitely want to have it towards the high end of the mark. So on this one right now, I need to change the oil. See, that's kind of dirty. Um, and I usually change it right when it gets a little bit brown. Uh, that's usually a little bit further than I let it go. Um, but I do that often and I do it actually without changing the screen. A lot of people say you got to change the screen every time. Uh, I've taken off thousands of those screens and if it's a car that I know and I use all the time and I take the screen off every time it's always been clean. I've never had junk in my you know gunk in your in my screen. So maybe every five or six oil changes I'll take it off and clean it. Um, I don't find it to be necessary to do every time. Um, the reason they used to do that years ago is on an oil change place because you know if you took it in and have your oil changed you wouldn't know the car you didn't know the car at all so you had to take that off to check it and if you saw any gunk in there then you know they didn't take care of their car and uh, you could let them know so but if it's a car you know you know most of the time when i take them off there's absolutely no nothing in that screen so it just doesn't make sense to take it off every time so i do a quickie you know, drop and fill oil change do it all the time do it a lot it helps save the motor makes it last a little bit longer and with the oil they have today, you know, I use Castrol or Kendall only in my Volkswagen. Uh, if you're using Penn's oil or Quaker State, um, I would take another look at doing something different. Uh, Kendall, Castrol really are, are the best oil for Volkswagen. The only oil, back years ago when I used to change oil, the only oil that I used to take out of an engine that would actually only get dirty. It would still have its viscosity. So, for instance, I would take Quaker State or even Valvoline, Valvoline racing oil. People think, oh, yeah, Valvoline racing oil. It's better than the other. Oh, no. Uh -uh. I used to take it out. I took out the drain plug with Valvoline racing oil, and it would run out like water. It would just, there would be no viscosity left. I take the drain plug out with Castrol or Kendall, and it would come out the same way it went in, but it would it would just be dirty that was it so it had the same viscosity as it had there was no breakdown I had I used um, even uh, Valvoline racing oil I had the same problem with that so I don't use Valvoline I don't use Penn's oil and I don't use Quaker State because of that reason alone now synthetic oil might be good but I don't know in a VW uh, flat tappets I'm not sure how that stuff has with ZDDP or um, zinc so you might want to, um, you know, can, you know, those things, put that in consideration if you're using uh, synthetic oil. I'm not saying synthetic oil is bad. It's really good stuff. I use it in all my new cars. My old VWs, uh, I'm a little skeptical on using it. I don't really know how it's going to work. It might seep out of areas in the case. Um, it gets really thin when it gets cold. So it might end up being leaks so i just haven't tried it um it's anyway anybody else try that maybe make a comment we'll see what you guys think about that one just remember when you're checking your oil on your volkswagen you're looking for gasoline in it that's the most important thing you can learn from this video i'll talk to you in the next one please like share and subscribe